Hello, everybody. Okay, so this week on Spanguli, he is showing the 1956 movie, The Mole People. So as you can see, I have this comic adaptation that goes along with the movie, and they actually used real photos from the movie. So this belongs to my boyfriend, Mark, and he brought it out when we found out which movie Spanguli will be showing. So... I really love these. I like to follow along with the book while I watch the movie, so I'm super geeked that we have that. But I use that as my reference um, for my costumes and the props that I made this week for the movie. So let me show you what I've made. Okay, so for my costume this week, I'm going to be portraying the main female character, and I believe her name is Adad. So... From what I can gather, she is a slave girl, and there's something kind of special about her, but I don't want to tell you if you haven't seen the movie yet. But she wears a white gown. Um, it has a V-neck, and, you know, it's just a very vintage-y looking gown. So I went on to Etsy looking for vintage uh, Empire Waist uh, nightgowns, and I had a tremendous amount of luck. I found a beautiful affordable vintage nightgown from a fabulous seller. Her name is Angela Broom, and her Etsy store is called Vintage Vibrations, and she was super, super cool, a very sweet woman. I told her what I was doing, and I would use the nightgown for um, one of my props for the horror movies for Spanguli, and she shipped it off to me right away, and I was exceptionally pleased. I just got it today, so let me show you. The nightgown it is a legit vintage nightgown, probably from the 60s, and it's perfect. I'm just going to take it in a little bit to make it a little bit smaller to fit me, but it's going to be perfect. Now, also, uh, there are a couple of scenes where a dad plays like a musical instrument. I don't know if it's a sitar or I'm not even sure what you call it, but it's a very like vintagey looking like guitar. And if you've seen the movie, um, you know what I'm talking about. So I had to recreate so it. I and am I working on the little guitar uh, for my Swingly Saturday. So I already have one cut out, as you can see. I made the pattern and cut it out of cardboard. And I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but I think this is going to work really well. But I wanted to make it a little bit more stable. So I have drawn out three more of them. I'm going to stack them all on top of each other and glue them together uh, just to give it some more stability and then spray paint the whole thing gold. Okay, here's the top part of it and here is the bottom part. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not with my camera but I spray painted it gold and it's pretty darn cool. Um, it's probably too big for you to see the whole thing but it's going to look really cool, and, and I'm going to string it up with some fishing line um, to make it look a little more accurate, but it's just a prop. It doesn't really have to work, but I'm very happy with the way that this came out. Okay. So, so here's a little update on the progress of one of my projects that I'm working on. So for the mole, I am actually like fabricating um, the claws for one of my little stuffed animals. He's going to be one of the mole people, so I dug out my foam clay and I have made these claws and I'm pretty happy with the way that they're turning out so far. One of them is already dry and the other one is in the process of drying but I don't know if you can see this or not. I've actually made the claws um, for this little stuffed animal and you can see he's still wearing one of the costumes that I made him. He was from, uh, I dressed him up from Evan Costello Meets the Mummy. Okay, so here's a little bit more of a close-up of the claws that I made. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one. This one's coming out pretty well. Um, I put a gazillion little balls of clay on here and then pressed them down to create the texture. This one is coming out pretty well, so I'm going to wait for this one to dry and then they will get painted. Okay, so I also have one more costume that I'd like to show everybody. Look what I did. I made a miniature costume 
of what I believe is the priest uh, for the mole people. And my orangutan stuffed animal is going to be the priest. And I actually have the hat here as well that I made. Um, it's still drying a little bit. Uh, so that's why it's not on him. And I also made the, uh, the like eye of Ishtar that he eventually holds up in his hand. So let me see if I can turn the camera around and I'll show you a little bit more in depth for the costume. Okay, so here is the costume. I am actually very proud of how this came out. Um, I added all the trim. I made the little uh, eye of Ishtar insignia for the front of his tunic. And he has a velvet cape with all the trim. And then I even added his little like Fu Manchu uh, beard and mustache. And like I said, the hat came out really nice. It's Friday about 5.30 and I'm finishing up the last couple things I need to do for my props. So as you can see, I'm back in my garage and I just got done spray painting. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I made the stone archway for the Eye of Ishtar um, because I plan on coming out of this little um, doorway. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I also made the Eye of Ishtar the symbol, spray painted it gold. So everything's drying right now. And I'm gonna hot glue the like symbol to the archway. And like I said, I plan on being dressed up as a dad or a dad and I'm going to come through the archway for my grand entrance. So, I think this is everything that I made for my Spangooly Saturday. Thank you.